Within the context of this episode, we were given the opportunity to talk about the measures taken by the banks, which include lying in order to purchase FTX items. We are going to talk about futures contracts because Coinbase is getting ready to launch them. Which coin is missing from the list? Are you able to guess it? Currently, Kathy Wood is doing well. Do you remember her Bitcoin call for $1.5 million? It would appear that she is proceeding with caution at this time. After that, we shall continue our conversation about it. This is not anything that I want to refer to as a scam, and I will provide some information regarding a token that is now available. I would like to make sure that you have a complete understanding of what it is that you are truly acquiring, because in reality, it is not what some individuals are portraying it to be. Following that, we shall form a partnership with one another. The consequences that are associated with Visa and their expansion, the plan, and finally, we will investigate the price of XRP all come into play. The automatic market maker needs to be called back because of a bug, which is causing the mess that we are currently experiencing. As people sit, we will discuss anything that is on their minds. Maintain your composure, and let's get started with Bitcoin. In the past, it has maintained a value of 1.61% on average. Ethereum is currently trading at 84% USDT and USDC, both of which are near to their dollar pegs with a mean of barely 63 cents. This comes after a day of trading at $1.344, where it was trading at $1.344. Cardano, there has been a 1.18% growth in its value over the course of the previous day. It struck 60 cents and I was ignorant about it. It was not I who did it. Even though I had vowed to carry it out, I did not. The question is, why wasn't I more skilled at it? I'm sorry, Frank, but there was no computer here. It's a situation in which I was able to complete it, and the next thing I know, it had been reset to 62, and at this time, it is 64. I might get into some problems if I do this. People, we are in desperate need of this to come back. We had 62 the other day. Did you know that? However, I am required to acquire it. Another brief dive is something I need to do as soon as possible. The gods of cryptocurrency are hearing my prayers right now. This object must be sent back down to the lower level. You're undoubtedly wondering, me 60 cents, what factors influence the outcome of the situation. It makes no difference to me whether it is 60 or 64 cents, but you can be sure that I will purchase some cardamom. In what other way can I scoop? From this very moment on, Arca, I am going to go in to go and get some of that ICP. Already, I am invested in it. Despite the presence of a great number of tokens, I am unsure of what it is that we have been descending towards for some time now. Presumably, this is the issue. In the event that this is our final decline before we begin to climb again, then it is challenging. Despite the fact that things have been heading in the wrong direction, many of these tokens are managing to maintain their stability, and a significant amount of money is being transferred around. However, Bitcoin will very soon have its own market, and that will be the real deal. To what extent will we be able to see the full market? In the event of a collapse, Bitcoin will only barely retrace its course, and the ALS will flee. I have faith that the community will be successful. Mainly due to the fact that they are aware that if they achieve the 150-point threshold, I would improve the exchange and offer the TDN token to everyone who recognizes the potential that TDN possesses. Additionally, this token will be utilized as a web-based game coin in addition to serving as a marketplace payment utility for the metaverse. I would want to extend my congratulations to everyone who was able to arrive early. Due to the fact that you were present when the supply was destroyed by fire, you were not aware that it had decreased from, I believe, 50 billion to 500 million. Nevertheless, I want to congratulate you on having a vision. If you are still interested in participating, you have plenty of time to do so because the token will soon be published on the exchange, and once that happens, no one will be able to access it. But if you are still interested, you can still participate. The tokens that everyone has access to are restricted in some way. In the period of time ranging from 45 to 150 days, what will occur when it is introduced into the market solely as a result of pressure? Suppose there is simply pressure applied to the token, and the value of the token increases as a result of this pressure? It's as simple as that, uh, individuals. While waiting in queue at the banks for FTX 8%, the purchasers from the banks are waiting to acquire a stake in the artificial intelligence company Anthropic, the revenues from the sale of shares with a value of around $1 billion will be utilized. Investors who are being repaid assert that buyers of FTX are waiting in queue. An investment of 8% in an artificial intelligence company is owned by Anthropic. An article that was published by CNBC not too long ago stated that the shares were purchased for $500 million in 2021, but their current value is estimated to be $1 billion. That is unfathomable. Is it not possible to acquire a piece of the artificial intelligence startup ANIC that is listed on the futures trading exchange? 
In addition, international investors such as sovereign wealth funds are rushing to purchase the shares, according to a recent report from CNBC, which cited sources that were not identified. They are interested in this website, and they intend to make an effort to return the investors with the money that they have. You are able to go and discover it is a website that provides artificial intelligence. It was the first time I had ever heard of them. Although it is highly unlikely that you will be able to buy it, it is possible that you could. Nevertheless, it fascinates me in spite of everything. Clearly, its value has gone from $500 billion to $1 trillion to $1 trillion during the course of this time period. As a result, that will be a wonderful experience. Considering that everyone who was burned in FTX, it sounds like a cruel joke that was played on April 1st. Still, pay attention to the coins. On April Fool's Day, they might be able to make an effort to retrieve a portion of the Coinbase that they intended to employ in order to start the future contracts for cryptocurrencies, which they propose to install in this location. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Litecoin, in addition to real money. Indeed, they are the assets that will be made available for usage on Coinbase at some point in the future on the platform. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Litecoin, in addition to real money. The fact that XRP is still functioning as one of the two official currencies is a fascinating aspect of this situation. Due to the fact that XRP is not currently considered a security, it is possible that we may revisit the idea of establishing a futures contract for it within the United States that is truly governed by clear regulations. Having said that, um, whether or not Dogecoin, Litecoin, or Bitcoin Cash will ever be announced is something that we do not know. Considering everything, I would want for you to take into consideration the following. Why in the name of all that is holy does XRP get overlooked once more? When it comes to the scenario, Coinbase is more alert. The tale is nothing short of peculiar. That is the unchanging principle that underpins XRP. Let's just not bother with that, shall we? Despite the fact that it is obviously regulated, we will not incorporate it into our list and will instead ignore it. To me, that can't make sense. It could happen in the future. We are all going to find out why, and these organizations and businesses are going to start talking about it and explaining to us why XRP is the stepchild with the redhead that has always been rejected. It has been stated by Kathy Wood that Bitcoin is a financial superhighway. Once more, she mentions the price, which is $1.5 million. Target acknowledged, and the CEO added that the company has been closely investigating the growing areas where the use cases of digital asset developers show that Bitcoin is a relatively harmful asset. Target Doctor also stated that the company has been conducting this examination. Bitcoin was the closest friend that Kathy Wood ever had. Bitcoin can be thought of as a financial superhighway. A recent investment in ARK, which is currently one of the spot issuers, would be an example of highlighting the significance of the use case of the cryptocurrency in emerging countries. The Bitcoin Exchange Traded Fund has reported that asset management is astonished by the increase in interest rates that was implemented by the Federal Reserve of the United States. As a result, asset management is focusing their attention on emerging markets and the global macro environment. This was something that she talked about at a fireside discussion that took place on Friday at the New York Bitcoin conference. That is how she goes. Our indicators show not everything in the world is perfect, she noted, citing countries such as Nigeria, which has established itself as one of the major users of Bitcoin as a result of the considerable depreciation of its currency. As a result of this, she is of the opinion that Bitcoin is an investment that is fraught with danger and has a long way to go. On the contrary, putting out an earlier demand for a price target of $1.5 million. It was her contention that, in theory, the price of Bitcoin could very well reach $3.5 million. Everyone, this is not a fabrication. My guess is that this is the prediction that Kathy Wood made. Please bring to mind the individual who recently liquidated all of her Coinbase stocks. She is of the opinion that Bitcoin will eventually reach a price of $3.5 million, but she is unable to predict when this would occur. I have now